Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 18th of 2022. Well, it is titled Equinox Analemma over the Kalanish Stones. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see the Kalanish Stones in very northern Scotland. And they may have some kind of astronomical uh, significance, such as those at Stonehenge. But really, we don't know. And mainly because many of these Stone Age monuments, and in fact, all of them, don't have any kind of instructions left behind telling us about the intentions of them or why they were made. What we are looking at up in the sky is an analemma. And that is the uh, position of the sun over the course of the year when taken at the same time of day. So we can label this here for you and you can see the dates as to when each image was taken. Uh, from June 23rd at the very top down and in the lost in the glare of the sun into December at the very bottom. Now the analemma occurs when you take a picture of the sun at the identical time every single day. It doesn't matter what time as long as the sun is of course up above the horizon. And the pattern appears because of two things. One is because of the tilt of the Earth's axis and that will cause the sun to be higher or lower in the sky at different times of year. So we will get it much higher in the summer and we see that with June up there at the peak and down in the glare of the sun on the bottom would be December the, where it would be lowest in the sky at that time. So it gives you an idea of the range of how high or low the sun can be in just over the course of a year at the identical time of day. Now the other thing is that it is spread out into a figure eight. And that occurs because the Earth has an elliptical orbit around our sun. So the path of the sun is not uniform. Sometimes the Earth moves a little bit faster and sometimes it moves a little slower. And at those times, the sun may have not quite gotten to the middle range here where you would expect it based on the motion. So the Earth could be moving a little too fast and the sun simply hasn't gotten there yet. Or it could be moving a little too slow and the sun has already passed that region. So that's what causes it to spread out. So the more elliptical the orbit, the more spread out that would be. Now coming up on Friday at 104 a.m. And that would be universal time. So it'd be a little bit different time depending on where you are. Uh, that will be the equinox, what we call the autumnal equinox, which, are the, which is the day of equal night, where day, not daylight and night time would be each 12 hours. And that is the equinox, which would be at the middle of the figure eight here. Now note that that is not where the two paths intersect, but is actually much further down that. And in fact, you can look at the numbers there to figure out roughly where September would be, which is a good ways below the actual intersection point. So we see this is the changing of the seasons for the northern hemisphere now going from summer into fall uh, uh, coming up on Friday. So that was our picture of the day for September 18th of 2022. It was titled Equinox Analemma over the Kalanish Stones. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Big Red. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.